Today we're going to be taking a look at the XP15000. So this is a printer from Epson and we're going to be doing both a basic setup as well as an installation of chipless firmware. So taking a look at what comes with the printer, it comes with some ink cartridges, a extension cable for the printer, as well as some documentation along with the CD with the software. Uh, we're going to start off by taking out the extension cable and then plugging it into the printer and then an outlet. And then we're going to go ahead and turn on the printer and then proceed to select the language and then proceed with the setup instructions. It's then going to tell you to open the printer cover and remove all the protective materials inside, which I'm doing right here. You're really going to remove everything that's going to hinder the printer from printing properly. Um, and so that really means a lot of the stuff, the foam, the paper, the tape that is contained within the printer that protects it during shipping. And then once you finish with that, you can then proceed to start installing the cartridges. So you're going to remove them from their vacuum sealed bag. Uh, you, and then you're going to want to carefully take off the green, yellow green cap on every single cartridge. You can do them one at a time. And then you're going to want to carefully place them at, or place them in at an angle. Uh, they're within the setup instructions contained within the manual. There's visuals showing what I'm talking about. And then you're going to place them in until you hear a click. And then this is just another angle of the installation. Uh, again, Place it in an angle and then just press the back end until you hear a click. And then once you've finished installing all the cartridges, it's going to then want to go through this charging process where it charges the ink. And you can just close the printer uh, cover and let the printer do, go through this process. It'll take around 10 minutes or so, uh, but you don't have to do anything during this. All right, now that we've finished the basic setup pro of the process, we're gonna now move on to the chipless firmware. And for that, we're gonna go to the inkchip.net website, proceed down to search for the XP15000 under the software tab. And then here we wanna download both the uh, firmware as well as the activation. I've gone ahead and downloaded both and put them in a folder just to keep things organized. Um, a thing to note about the firmware is that you're going to need some sort of software to uh, because it is a RAR file, you need some sort of software like 7-zip or other extractors to extract this file. Um, I recommend We recommend 7-zip because it is free online. You can download it on this website called 7-zip.org. Um, and this is just to make sure that we can extract the firmware. Um, now that we've downloaded it, we can go ahead, you can go ahead and extract it. Um, I've gone ahead and done it and placed all of the files in a folder. You can do that by right clicking the original RAR file and then once you want to do that you want to open up the um, exe file contained within those folders and then it's going to lead you to this page where um, you're going to agree to the software agreement um, click next uh, take a look at the instructions and precautions and click next and then you want to select the correct printer in this case it's the xp1500 you want to make sure that your printer is connected to your device via USB and then you're just going to want to let it go through the firmware installation process. Now this installation process might take a good 10 to 20 minutes um, and when it finished or when it's almost finished it might appear an error message might appear at 99% that says the firmware is not updated. This isn't a problem. Um, you can just ignore this and click next rather than retrying. And once that is finished, you can press finish and it should conclude the firmware installation process. Now that that part is done, let's proceed with the software activation portion. And for this, we're going to come back to the inkchip.net website, proceed to buy, 
and then we're going to want to search find look for the XP 15,000 add that to our cart make sure it's the correct one and then we're going to want to proceed to check out and at this stage you can use the code INKEXPRO for an additional 5% off at checkout this would lower your total down to around $49.50. Once you've gone ahead and purchased the code, like I have right here, um, I have it pasted in a notepad just for easy access. You're going to want to then open up the activation file that you previously downloaded. Um, and you can switch the language to English. It might crash the first time. Don't worry about that. Um, just reopen the file and it'll work like normal. And then from here, you want to press activate online and then put your um, code that you got and then this is going to lead the printer to restart as it's probably installing the triplets firmware and then another thing is that you want to make sure that you copy the um, activation code and the serial and ID code um, just to keep it somewhere safe in case you need to reinstall this firmware this should prevent any um, issues from happening in the future in case you need to reinstall the firmware and you don't have to buy a new activation key That concludes the XP15000 um, setup and chipless firmware installation process. Thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe or leave a like down below.